So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're gonna be doing a compilation video on some trending hot topics. Before we get to the docket, make sure y'all check out my TikTok. I just added another story time slave, which is where I do my makeup and tell y'all a crazy story. Some of y'all asked for that, here's a sneak peek. So hey y'all, back with another story time slave. This is a story about how one of my models tried to fight me. So as y'all know, I run a modeling agency, Queen T Models, shout out to us. So during my first year, my first season, we had over 30 girls because it was new. Everybody wanted to join it was a big thing so we had this inter-team challenge where we were going to choose the top 10 girls out of the 30 girls i told the ladies to come here and make up ready i had a camera guy and judges so we choose our top 10 most people were a good sport about it but there was just this one girl so yeah the girl tried to fight me go check it out it is pinned down in the comment section down below now on the docket tonight we have drake allegedly dating a 20 year old girl this alleged woman in question is rapper lotto's younger sister brooklyn nicole the two were allegedly spotted out leaving a restaurant a few days ago and this sparked some discourse as it's just seeming like having a relationship within your age range is a thing of the past. Also, the double standard that is present on men who date younger women and women who date younger men. Next up, we have Zeus Network's Bad vs. Wild show making its debut, and I did watch it, and I know we're gonna get into it, but I just was not satisfied. I think there's a lot to be said with the show being that it was really promoted to be something a little different on Zeus Network and giving viewers somewhat of a break from the usual baddies type of show structure, but I have my own bone to pick with the show. And then lastly, Drea Michelle, who was pregnant by 20 two year old NBA player Jalen Green. Drea is 39 years old and she's basically standing on business about her decision. There were some resurfaced video clips that kind of spoke to this and I think there's actually some things I want to add as a follow up from the last video I did on her. So y'all know what to do. Label your comments story number one, two or three. You can comment on one if not all. I will try to read most of the comments. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So our first story is about Drea. So recently it came out that reality TV star, model and entrepreneur Drea Michelle is pregnant by her 22 year old boyfriend Jalen Green. Jalen Green is a basketball player. He has a $40 million contract and currently plays for the Houston Rockets. I talked about this in my last video. Make sure y'all check that out if you haven't already because I pretty much detailed the whole entire situation plus my opinions. Ever since this has come out, Drea has seemingly responded. First of all, she turned her comment section off on Instagram because she was getting a lot of heat, rightfully so. And I don't know if it's just this woman to woman thing, but I really don't necessarily like dragging women contrary to popular belief. But if a woman does something that I think it's completely asinine. I'm not going to defend her because we share the same parts. Like I want women to remember that just because we are fellow women does not mean that you can't hold other women accountable, especially if they're doing things that are completely wrong. There were a lot of comments saying that who cares? Women are just mad because she can still pull a younger guy. She's beautiful and they're grown. And those things may be true, but I promise you nobody is mad that someone can attract someone. Like I said in my last video, I guess it's quote unquote impressive that she can still appeal to a younger audience, even though she's older than someone like Jalen Green. But that notwithstanding, Drea is pregnant by someone who is almost two decades younger than her and who was the same age as her oldest child. I didn't touch on this in my last video, but they started dating in July 2023. That is nine months ago. And I believe some people saying it was August. However, it doesn't make a difference. She is seven months pregnant and they started dating eight to nine months ago. So she got pregnant right away, meaning she knew what she was doing. I tried to tiptoe and maybe give her the benefit of the doubt, but now that I've come to terms with that information, no. <laughs> Like, because no, like absolutely because no, like absolutely positively, entirely, definitely because no. Drea knew exactly what she was doing. I am 100% sure now that her intentions were not because she loves him or wants to be with him or there's some type of genuine relationship. This woman intentionally got pregnant by a young, high earning millionaire and this is the result. So there was a post from an interview that Drea did with The Shade Room a while ago and it started to resurface and it pretty much showed where her mindset was. Let's check that out. You want any more kids or are you done? Oh yeah, I want more kids. Like how many? Like like one, I think. So like the person you're dating, know. you you see like a future with them? I think the question you were asking me is if I wanted more <laughs> kids and I feel like I want more kids and yeah. I feel like at mm -hmm. this point in my life, right? Yeah. The relationship is is amazing to have right but that's not what i'm basing having a kid on because right. i'm very non-traditional yeah. i feel like you can co-parent without being in a relationship maybe just two people say hey you want a kid i want a kid let's just have a kid and like let's just really see. so you would you yeah, would i'm do very that? like free spirit i'm very open and just 
So now that I've watched this video, Drea can make it seem like, oh, I'm just untraditional and it's just that I wanted a kid. But let's be real. Girl, you prayed on that man and you got pregnant because you wanted to secure the bag. And I remember I said in my last video that Drea has been around. And again, read between the lines as to what that means. But it goes to show that she's just a grown, experienced, and unapologetic fast girl who did what fast girls do. And I think it would have been more respected had she gotten with someone who was just a little bit older. It would have been a little bit more palatable. But when we're looking at athletes, most of these guys are younger. They are usually in their 20s and some, just some, in their early 30s if they've been in their respective sports leagues for a long time. If I was to get pregnant by Jalen Green, who was 22 and I'm 26, I don't think it would be that much of an uproar. But Drea is almost 40. She knows what she's doing and it's very clear that her intentions were not good. And then her approach to family structure is completely skewed. She just said that, you know, two people can have a kid because they want a kid and then co-parent. And I just hate that rhetoric being promoted to the world, especially to a lot of young girls who think having a baby is a walk in the park and having a baby is no big deal. Like people try to say I'm misogynistic, but I don't think so. I think I'm reasonable and I will say yes, I am traditional. But me being traditional is not because I want to follow a system of patriarchy. It's because statistically, children are supposed to be born in marriages or at least unions where both individuals are in a loving relationship and situation and want to procreate with one another for the sake of staying together as a family unit. Co-parenting is a thing and it usually happens when relationships don't work out or maybe there's divorce involved. But just getting pregnant because you want a baby is not normal. Selecting your child's father and letting him knock you up for the sake of wanting more kids and getting money is not normal. And to any young person watching this, please do not listen to what these birds chirp. Like the birds is chirping right now. There's a lot of birds on the internet that are popular because we like to promote and publicize nonsense. That's just where we're at as a society. But in the real world, it's not normal. It doesn't make sense. And you're signing yourself up for more problems than you need to. Drea also shared a post to her Instagram story in response to the backlash. She posted this quote that says, get comfortable being misunderstood. Only a fraction of people will be able to truly grasp your essence. You are not on anyone else's timeline of comprehension. Also, it's none of your business how others choose to perceive you. Most high sees you clearly. Let that be enough. And shut up like shut up girl like shut the front door blah 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 drea you are not misunderstood whatsoever it's actually very clear actually it makes absolute sense that your intentions to do what you did were not coming from a place of genuine love care or ethics if you want to have a baby by a millionaire so be it i'm not gonna be mad at you if you want to have a baby because you have two sons and you really want a girl and you love motherhood so be it but to go about it in such an off-putting way just be real i see people commenting making excuses for this because quote men do it all the time but it's like does that make it right like when i see people try to offset or excuse things that are wrong just because it's more common for another gender or just any demographic you still have to answer the question does that make it right especially when there are more young people on the internet consuming all of this content there's a section of people that actually emulate what they see and it's not drea's responsibility to be a role model or to parent the young people of today but it's still a determination of her character when you make choices from a spirit of maliciousness the thesis states on all of this is that she wanted a baby by a millionaire she had bad intentions or at least intentions that don't revolve about what bringing a child into this world should be and she does not care clearly this will all blow over once it's all said and done but the moral compass that she has is still what it is and probably has always been like i said this whole idea of being a cougar is super popular these days i don't have an issue with age gap relationships but i feel like if you're gonna date younger as a woman there has to be a cutoff i think after the age of 25 it's not that big of a deal because usually by 25 your brain is fully developed and more people are being established if not already but 25 is still young especially in comparison to someone who is almost 40 and again if she was just having a sexual relationship i probably wouldn't care but to now know that she went into this looking at the financial and social benefit for herself especially so fast it truly shows that there are women out here who do prey on young men for bad reasons and you have to watch out for it if you're a mother of a teenage or early 20 somethings man check them phones or just have a conversation with your son to know that usually yes the threat is young girls and young women but young men are also victims of things like this as well we can say that Jalen green is grown which he is but he's still not at the same time he has his whole life ahead of him he's doing well on the basketball court from what i've researched he's made it into the highest professional basketball league and to see a woman who knows exactly what she's doing because she's so used to associating with rich men again 
It's just not a good look, Drea. So our next story is about Bad vs. Wild. So everyone's favorite Ratchet TV network, and I don't even think it's everyone's favorite, but Zeus Network is definitely a guilty pleasure, and they have finally debuted their new show, Bad vs. Wild. Essentially, this is supposed to be an off-brand version of Wild and Out. Two teams go against each other to earn points, there's a live audience, and each of them complete different challenges that are entertaining and funny at the same time. At least, so I thought. So my boyfriend and I decided to watch it because he did watch Baddies with me, so we're like, okay, let's watch this. We love to do Sunday night watch parties, so we went into it like, okay, let's just see what's about. I don't know what I was thinking, but this was a major letdown. For the first episode, it was Team Bad, which is obviously the baddies. It was led by Natalie Nunn. We also had Scotty, Roly, Tasiki, Mariah Lynn, and Jayla. And then on the other side was Team Wild, which was Jocelyn and her cabaret. So we had Jocelyn, and I'm not even gonna lie, all of the girls were from the fourth season of Jocelyn's cabaret, and I never finished it, so I didn't really recognize everybody. Like, I remember watching them on the show, but I never knew their names. So forgive me, I don't know their names. So they go head to head, and apparently Natalie Nunn and Jocelyn Hernandez have some type of internet beef, and that's what made the anticipation for their competition interesting. So Zeus loves to address internet shenanigans. They'll show you all of the receipts and give you some type of context leading into some of the storylines that they push. And I think that was okay. I mean, I didn't know exactly what Jocelyn and Natalie were at odds about, but it makes sense because they're both very egotistical. They both have overinflated sense of selves as to who is better at what they do, and they're both ringleaders in their own categories. Natalie Nunn runs the baddies, Jocelyn runs the cabaret or the strippers. I know Zeus is a little ratchet, actually a lot of ratchet, actually oversaturated with ratchetness, but this was very annoying that we really couldn't even get to the entertaining aspect of the show. Every single time they did any challenge, it was like they couldn't even complete what they were to do because it was so much shit talking, so much back and forth, so much trying to overdo the other side. And that's why I feel like this was some off-brand malarkey. Like, honestly, they need to start cutting mics. They couldn't even finish the show to declare a winner because Jocelyn actually booped Natalie in the face and then everybody slid and ran up on each other and then they just couldn't stop fighting. And then after that, of course, they couldn't bring anybody back onto the stage because these barbarian bitches couldn't let up. Even in the beginning, Tuseki kept bucking and talking as Nick Cannon, who was the host, was given instruction. It literally took away what could have been an entertaining show that was something different for Zeus Network. I definitely think it's important for Zeus to expand in other shows and content because I think that baddies will eventually fizzle out for many reasons. I think the interest level of it is declining because we're realizing that the conflicts are so sporadic and unserious and a lot of these women are just too old to be acting like this. But when it came to Bad vs. Wild, I was extremely disappointed because there was absolutely no decorum. And I know it's like, okay, that's what I should expect from Zeus Network, but still, this isn't Baddies or Jocelyn's Cabaret. This isn't reality TV. This was supposed to be a production. You could tell that they had a good budget going into this. The stage looked great. The setup was nice. The live audience was very interactive and it had good potential. But the talent, like the people executing the show, couldn't just have fun without it turning into the same old shenanigans that they always do. Again, these barbaric bitches. I just thought it was trash. Like I was hoping Zeus Network could at the very least put out something that was a little bit more digestible for those of us who do like Ratchet TV, but sometimes just want to watch something that is more fun and more entertaining than violent and brutal. I've only seen this first episode. I'm going to watch the second one just to see if there are any changes. Maybe this first episode was just to set the tone and get people to view it. But Zeus Network, I'm telling you, people are going to get tired of this because although it may be entertainment, you can only digest so much of that before your interest level dies down because we've seen the same thing time and time again. Literally, it was a shit show. There's no better way to put it. And a lot of these women need therapy. The fact that they're so quick to want to beat up on another person for the littlest things, there's no amount of money that can subsidize me doing that and only that. Rolly was trying to break through a glass door with a fire extinguisher because she got her wig snatched off. And it was funny when Rolly was trying to fight somebody because she ran up so slow because she can't move that fast. Rolly just throws her weight around and maybe her punches are heavy, I don't know, but she's just too slow and that's what happens to her. And then she always tries to overcompensate by yelling and talking so much before, during, and after her physical altercations. And it's like either shut up or square up or just go sit down. I will say Jocelyn's Cabaret won that episode. I know they did not declare a winner, but just on the fact that Jocelyn was able to touch Natalie and then walk off like a boss, I gotta give it to the Cabaret. I'll see what happens in the next episode, but if it's gonna be like this time and time again, people will definitely tune out before it could ever reach a season two. Zeus Network, take notes. So our last story talks about one of our favorite rappers, Drake, allegedly dating, hooking up, and or being involved with a 21-year-old young woman. I don't know what is going on with this cougar stuff and this silver fox stuff. Y'all just told me what a silver fox is in the last video, so I'm gonna start using that. But I think it's getting a little bit out of hand because now we're making it seem like it's just absolutely normal. And again, two consenting adults are free to do what they want, but that doesn't mean that the optics, let alone the intentions, are valid. And I think that's what people need to realize. Dating someone younger or older than 
surprising you is not a problem. However, what your intentions are behind it is what we have to question on certain people. Can we be real and say that Drake is also a pass around himself? Like you see how we all can determine that Drea is really just an industry pass around who probably isn't attracting men her age who are rich and well to do because they already had her or they just know what she's about. So can we say the same thing for Drake like please? Because why is it when it comes to Drake he is always associated with younger women? Even this whole thing with him and Sexy Red. Sexy Red is 25 years old. She'll be 26 next month and Drake is 37 years old. That is still 10 plus years that he has on Sexy Red and that is 16 years that he has on this young lady Brooklyn Nicole. Now Brooklyn Nicole is the little sister of rapper Lotto and I like Lotto but I'm not gonna lie I don't pay that much attention to all the people she's associated with let alone her personal life. I just hear the rumors and I just like the music and that's just really where I leave it at. So I knew she had a sister but I didn't know that it was her younger sister and I didn't know that both of them have this affinity with being with rappers. There's an alleged rumor that Lotto is in a relationship with 21 Savage. Lotto is 25 years old and 21 Savage is 31 which I think is actually an appropriate age difference. I mean it's still six years but I think that makes more sense to me and I can digest that way better than I can digest a 37 year old man with a 20 or 21 year old young lady. Now again this whole thing with Drake and Lotto's younger sister Brooklyn Nicole is alleged. The video that people say that they were spotted in doesn't really even show her face so it could be anybody but I do believe rumors and behind the scenes allegations usually have some truth to them especially when the optics look like what it is. They both follow each other on Instagram and it makes sense that Lotto who is with 21 Savage and 21 Savage who was good friends with Drake could potentially be associated or at least know of Lotto's younger sister Brooklyn. I have the same sentiments that I would have for anyone else. It's off-putting that people want to consistently be with people who are almost 20 years apart in age and let's be real there's no legal issue but the moral and the intentional issue is always going to be the problem for me and I think we need to start keeping track of how Drake moves. I know the whole sexy red thing is probably just for the internet but people really are speculating that Drake is the baby daddy to sexy red's new baby which I don't believe is true but the fact that he is okay with making it seem like there's something there it just makes me question him and now we have this and it's very questionable. I don't know if Hollywood and entertainment is trying to push some type of narrative to the world but I think one thing is for certain which is if any of these situations are to be true there's nothing motivating it other than money and ego. We can say that older men date younger women because it makes them look youthful or just makes them look attractive that they can still associate with younger people but we can also say that for a lot of these young girls who are in their 20s and they're dating men who are significantly older than them because they also get an ego boost from doing it. So let's be real Drake is not going to be taken this seriously by any regard he is a permanent playboy and I find it interesting that men who operate like women are flavors of the month and go from one baddie to the next are praised even though I highly doubt that there's anybody on this earth that truly wants to be lonely and without some type of life partner. Whether you decide to go into a full-blown marriage or not these men can try to play themselves as if it's better to shuffle the cards with different women but it will all catch up to them. One day when they're old and they're sitting there with all of their accolades their money their fame and their acquired respect from their industries they'll still be empty that they either have no one to share it with or no one who they have genuine love and feelings for because the heart does want that and don't let any of these men fool you they can be 40 they can be 50 doesn't matter to say that you never want to settle down and just have that one person who you know has your back and loves you for you that's cap. If indeed Drake is diddly daddling with a 21 year old woman that is sick and pathetic and emphasis on pathetic because it's not like he can't get with women who are in his age range and who can relate to him for more genuine reasons than someone in their early 20s. The girl is just literally now being able to buy alcohol in backwoods and as an older man who was established and experienced like Drake he should know better. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below. What do you think? What do you know? Let me know. If you haven't already, go follow me on TikTok. Like I said, I have some new content on there. I'm going to be posting every day this week. Also, shout out to anybody who's been keeping up with my music and me previewing. I will be previewing more tracks. Thank you guys a lot. And lastly, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all. On you, on all. Hail the queen, QC. Yeah, she is risen. Presence is a gift. So I come with the ribbon Internet told me stop rapping I ain't listen to him No, I really got more bars in the prison system Right? Yeah, one beat Step into the kitchen Murder flows You could suspect I am not the victim Beat queen D's on that bitch Like we with the pistons Red cherry, red bottoms I know how to pick them Always got a secret plan I don't do the fighting Shorty is a secret fan Yeah, she ghost riding Brown skin beauty With a booty show time Go off on the tangent I don't need a cosign So baddies women That are cheap about a dozen Hot girl straight up Out the microwave oven Gotta bring a chicken man Before you get to stuffing Then this beat going crazy Snapping on percussion I'm at the top, I'm the number one prospect uh -huh. Beat from Lakia when she slid on Cosmic Tell him coming here, boo, I'm trying to make your jaw snap yeah. I got no pics, but I want to see your pockets yeah. Big glossy lips, trying to mount like a faucet uh -huh. Speak chicken knees, so I put them in the
in the cockpit Cooking in the studio, call me dirty crockpit Gingerbread, baby, running fast like Sonic It's commendable, was a ceremony, but now it's a festival New money now, so you gotta move a decimal Presidential suite, and it's looking all congressional I'm so delectable, for your queen card Cause mine is a collectible Better mind your business and stay up off my genitals Probably make them high, cause my body's like an edible Wait, let me stop, cause I'm trying to be professional Damn I know that's what y'all said when you heard that verse Y'all was like, damn 